If you are working in an enterprise or a larger setting, you might be dealing with multiple large language models at the same time or in tandem. Different LLMs require different prompt templates. That is why it is vital to have a pertinent prompt for the specific LLM, otherwise you won't get an optimal response. Prompt is simply a request to large language model for something and in return, a large language model returns you a specific response. As I said, for example, if you are using OpenAI's GPTs or if you are using Gemma or if you are using Claude family from Anthropic, if you are using the same prompt for all the models, the responses won't be optimal. Maybe in the future, the large language models will be intelligent enough to understand our uh, free-flowing text. But right now, if you don't provide them a specific prompt according to what they have been trained on, the response will be there, but it won't be optimal. That is why in this video, I am introducing you to meta prompt from Claude family. If you have been following my channel, you might have noticed that I have covered different models from Anthropic like Opus, Sonnet and there are few others. All of these models are in different category and they require different prompts. This new tool Meta Prompt from Anthropic enables us to create the specific prompt for the specific LLM as per our task or use case. Because prompts also vary from task to task, they also vary from the fact that whether you are using variables or not. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Meta Prompt from Anthropic. You would need Anthropic's API key for this. So just go to Anthropic's website, anthropic.com, sign up with your email, and if you're logging in first time, you will get five US dollar credit, so you can use that. Once you log in, just on the left hand side, click on API keys and generate a key for yourself. That is, and you can just name it anything you like, and that is the key which we are going to use. I'll be showing you how you can use Meta Prompt on Google Colab. So let's get started. As a first step, let's set our Anthropic key. So on the left hand side, click on this key icon and scroll down. Here you can create a new secret. As you can see, I already have created this secret with Anthropic's API key and I have saved my key. Let's close it and Let's import some of the libraries which we need, like Anthropic, RE, and Anthropic API key. We would also need to install this Anthropic first. So you can see that I have just put in pip install Anthropic and it is running at the moment. Let's wait for it to finish. And our libraries has installed and our all Anthropic API key is set. And have, we have specified the model as Claude 3 Opus. We have also, also instantiated the Anthropic client. And now let me show you the actual meta prompt. Let's specify here code. And this is a huge meta prompt which Anthropic has given us. Let me show you quickly. If you see here, sorry. So this is a meta prompt. It goes in starts with what exactly what we will be doing today then what is a task and then it is just going into the uh, lot of instruction task instruction examples a few short one shot lot of stuff is happening here it is also giving us a lot of examples and i'll just scroll down quickly so you can see there is also function calling tool calling and then question answering in different formats. So it has everything what we need for the Claude family of models. I have run it. And now let's specify our task. You can specify any task of, which, of your choice. So I'm just saying it a draft and email responding to a customer complaint. You can also put in variable in caps, but I'm not going to use them for the purpose of this demo. I have just defined this task. Just in case if you have defined the variables, make sure that you store them in this variable string by just iterating through this array or list. That is done. And now let's insert this task into the meta prompt. So if you see what is happening here is that we have simply 
created a param prompt from the meta prompt dot rip and we are just replacing the above string and then we are just setting the assistant partial to inputs and then variable we haven't defined any variables and this is where we are getting the message back from the Anthropics cl uh, client by using the model max token and our prompt so let me run it and this is going to take a bit of a time so let's wait for it to finish because it's an api call so the above took a minute or so but it returned so let's also define a function pretty print so so that we could print what driver was returned by that above meta prompt so let me run it that is done and then now let's also specify some of the functions to uh, extract between the tags because when Anthropic res returns that result it inserts a lot of tags and it can simply print out a lot of tags but we are just interested in the prompt so we are just defining these functions so the first one just extracts it between these tags it removes the empty track and this one just extracts the prompt from the whole output which um, Anthropic has returned and this returns variable if you need the variables and eventually now let's try to print out our prompt with the variables you can see all we are doing it we are just calling that extract prompt function with the message which we give and we are also extracting the variable and then we are printing out the variables and prompt so let's run it and there you go so if you remember the task was to draft an email and we didn't define the variables there but it has just gone into it put in the variables by itself and you can see the customer's email so it has not only drafted the email but it has also gone ahead and put in the variable and you can just simply pick this go to anthropics website or anywhere where cloud is running and simply run this from there and it will work like a charm so not only you can do this you can also just give it any task for example you can ask it to do function calling you can do a lot of stuff there for example you can just ask it that um, write me a review of poster and then simply just run it here and then run this one again run and again this is going to take a bit of a time so let's wait for it to come back again an api call and this is where your credits get spent and cloud is an expensive model by the way that is done let's define the functions as we did earlier all of them extract there you go this is our product with a proper prompt and then everything is there like product description and all that stuff so you can imagine you can write as many complex prompt as possible you can change the cloud family of model it will change the prompt accordingly the template and all you need to do is to use it in your application so heads off to anthropic for creating this notebook and also creating this prompt a meta prompt really really useful i hope that we could get a tool which will do it for across the model that will be awesome I'll drop the link to this notebook in video description. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.